गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज एट क्लास एंड इन दिस वी विल रीड जुडिशरी वॉट इज जुडिशरी जुडिशरी इज द ऑर्गन ऑफ गवर्नमेंट दैट इंटरप्रिएट द लॉ इट अप्लाइज द लॉ टू पनिश द गिल्टी टू सेटल द डिस्प्यूट टू प्रोटेक्ट द सिटीजन्स राइट्स एंड इंक्लूड द फंडामेंटल राइट्स द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ जुडिशरी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ जुडिशरी इज लाइक अ पिरामिड द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज एट द टॉप हाई कोर्ट इन द मिडिल and at the lower court are at the lower le level supreme court of uh, india is in new delhi it has 25 judges a chief justice and 24 other judges now the chief justice and the other judges these are appointed by the president of india other judges are appointed by the consultation of chief justice by the president the qualification of chief justice he or she should be a citizen of india he or she should be advocate with the at least 10 years experience or a judge of high court for 5 years or a distinguished jurist in the opinion of the president the power and functions of supreme court supreme court of india perform many uh, powers and functions like the judicial administrative and advisory first its function is uh, original jurisdictions second appellate jurisdiction third advisory jurisdiction its functions are the custodian of the constitution it provide a custody to the uh, constitution second guardian of the fundamental rights third uh, advisory functions it provide advisory to the president legislature and the council of ministers at the time or the time to time the court of record it is a court of record because of it records the all pleading pleading done by a lawyer or the printed copies records are here high court records also is recorded here next we will know about high court High court is the highest court of justice in the state it hears appeals against the decisions of the lower court cases related to the civil or the criminal appeals are also heard directly in the high court high court also makes the rules for the working of the subordinate courts Com composition of and qualifications of high court it is like the supreme court judge high court has a chief justice and many other judges fixed by the parliament uh, time to time the chief justice of high court uh, are work uh, like the work of the chief justice of the supreme court but it is at the low level of supreme court this uh, is set up in the in a uh, in a state or a union territory uh, the qualifications of chief justice and other judges of high court he or she should be a citizen of india he or she should work as a judge for no uh, for not less than 10 years he or she be a renowned writer in the field of law he or she have been a recognized teacher of good reputation in a law college the service and conditions the chief justice hold office till they attain the age of 62 years while the chief justice of supreme court uh, may uh, become may uh, retain in on his post 65 years the judge and the high court gets monthly salary besides the other allowances they also get free accommodation their salary and allowances are revised time to time now we will know about the functions and duties of high court this also like the So supreme court just it has its jurisdictions like the original jurisdictions the appellate jurisdiction and the supervisory jurisdictions now we'll discuss about the subordinate courts the at the district level there are the subordinate courts these help the high court there are the different courts decide to the civil and criminal cases high court is that the district judge who decide the civil cases the highest criminal court in a district is that the session judge the judge and the magistrate of the subordinate courts are appointed by the governor recommended by the state public service commission
Now we will discuss the Lok Adalas. Usually, the court that have take much time to decide different cases at a low uh, low of money is spent. Lot of money is spent on any case to save time and money. Lok Adalas have been set up in any country. Under this system, a large number of cases are decided by a single day. The, these Lok Adalas has proved useful not only for the poorer but also it lightened the burden of the courts. Now the importance of the court. First, they keep a check on the power of legislature and executive. They protect the fundamental rights of citizens. They, pro uh, they decide the center and the state's disputes, disputes between uh, two states also. They act as a custodian of constitution. They advise the president or the governor in the matters of law. Thank you, Avanna, student.